Hi guys, I decided I'm going to go through and do a declutter video uh, with you today. Uh, some of the stuff was sent to me in PR, some of the stuff I purchased on my own. Anything I'm getting rid of is not an insult to the brands who sent them to me. It's just that I own way too much stuff and I need to pare down what I own for my own sanity. And when I say declutter, I'm not throwing anything away. I will be giving it to friends and family, giving it a better home to somebody who will actually use this stuff. So with that being said, let's get into it. I will do some swatches. I'm not gonna promise that I'll swatch any everything because then we could be here forever. But, um, you know, if I'm not sure, I will swatch it. So uh, first off, I know for sure. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of this. It's like one of my newest blushes. It's the Dior uh, Backstage Rosy Glow in the shade Coral, number four, which is odd because they came out with two shades, so I don't know why it's number four, but that's not going anywhere. Uh, same with this one, which is the pink version, which is number one, also not going anywhere. Uh, Another Dior one that is not going anywhere is Charnel. See, my friend Bonnie, she recommends all the Dior to me, and she's always right, and I love every single Dior product that she tells me that I must get. In fact, I love every single product that she tells me I must get. Uh, Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Stone Street. This is my number one favorite bronzer in the world, so I'm not getting rid of that, that's staying. We will get rid of some things here, we just haven't gotten there yet. Um, Bare Minerals, you can't get this anymore, Invisible Bronzer in the shade Medium. I actually really do like this. It comes across as a very um, shimmery, satiny bronzer. You didn't even see that swatch, it's right there. Not that you can really see it. But anyway, so that one is staying also. Uh, by Terry, this is, this is, this is getting older, but I still actually really enjoy this one. So I'm not getting rid of this. Swirl those together so you can see. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of that, that's staying. So, okay. Uh, it looks like most of the stuff that we're going through is all keeping, but that's because I already filmed and it turned out that my film was corrupted, so I had to start over. So now all the stuff I'm keeping is like on top, so it's like all the stuff that I'm getting rid of is going to be on the bottom. Uh, but this is Balm Beach, which happens to be one of my all-time favorite blushes, so I'm not getting rid of this. It's a very light blush if you're... Uh, if you have a light complexion, you will enjoy it, but I'm keeping that. Uh, Milk Makeup uh, Matte Bronzer Stick. It's in the shade Baked. This is not going anywhere. This is like one of my new favorite products of life. I love it. Um, Cover Effects. Cover Effects. You know, you've got the shimmery side and the matte side, and I like to swirl them together so that I get like a satin bronzer, and this is the shade Pink Dahlia. I like it. I'm keeping it. Um, Burt's Bees in the shade Bare Peach. I, I am keeping this one. You can tell that I've used a decent amount of it. I do like it, keeping it. Kevin Aquan, I might not be saying that right, but this is the light uh, sculpting powder. That's not going anywhere. I use that a lot. Um, Hourglass, the little mini baby. I don't tend to use a lot of highlighter. So when I do, it's something like this that is very uh, subtle. So I'm keeping that because if I do use highlighter on the rare occasion that I do use highlighter, it's something like that. Um, Tarte in the shade Party which is, actually I really do like this shade, but I never use it. Like, I never ever use it, but I like the shade. I don't know, that's a maybe. Besame, Besame blush. I hate, hate, hate this container, but I really, 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 really like the blush. Um, I 
think I have to keep it just because I like the blush so much. But the container was enough that I did not buy any more blushes from them because what a pain. Don't like that at all. Um, Urban Decay, this was sent to me. It's the Stay Naked Threesome. Um, this is, this is going, guys. I don't, I tried it a couple times and I just don't like it on me, so it's going. Um, Burt's Bees in Toasted Cinnamon. I think I like this one too, but I think I like it slightly less than the, shoot. Oh, man. I do like it. Oh man, what do I do? What do I do? That's another baby. Come back to that. The Laura Geller. This is pink grapefruit. I know I like this blush. I know I do. Um, yeah, we're going to keep that one. Um, okay. This is Odin's Eye in Apricot Girl. That's a keep. This is Odin's Eye in Ripe Papaya. They're pretty similar, aren't they? Let's, oh, no, okay. Um, I really only need one. Let's keep this one and get rid of that one. Uh, Sweet Peach. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. Odin's Eye in Little Jasmine. Oh, that's too dark. I'm not keeping that. Okay, cheek leaders. I'm keeping this. I like the, even though I don't tend to like um, really in your face uh, highlighters, I do like this one. I like Hula. I don't love Gold Rush, but two out of three ain't bad, so I'm keeping it. Um, NARS Orgasm. I know I'm keeping this one. Uh, NARS Julie in a mini. I, I might not be saying that right. <sighs> I think I'm just going to get rid of that one. I never use it. Uh, Becca Damselfly. I am keeping this one for sure. This was my always my favorite Becca blush shade, so keeping it. Um, all right, this one. This one is a surprise because this was, this cost an arm and a leg and it's like holding a hockey puck. It is very heavy. It's by By Terry. It's a shade Platinum Blonde. The color is beautiful. I never use it. Never, ever, ever use it. But the color is really pretty. So this will go to a really nice home to somebody who will appreciate it more than I do because I never use it. So, there's that. Uh, okay, we've got Fenty. This is technically a highlighter, but not really. It's basically just glitter. A lot of, lot of glitter. But I like it as like a top coat on like the eyes. So I am keeping that. Um, God, I have to get a little bit more cutthroat here. Okay, so Odin's Eye in Sweet Tulip. That can go, that's too dark for me. Odin's Eye in Water Lily. Again, that can go, that's too dark for me. Uh, the Balm in Frat Boy. I am ready to let go of the Balm. The Balm in Down Boy. I am ready to let go of. The Balm in Balm Desert. Ready to let go of. The Balm in Cabana Boy. Ready to let go of. Let's see. This will be another surprise, I think. This is Tom Ford in Terra. And I am ready to let go of it. Becca in Wild Honey. I think I was ready to let go of this the day I got it. So, um... Becca in Flower Child. It's it's very similar to Orgasm, so ready to let go of it. Uh, let's see. Flower Bomb Liquid. 
uh, blush balm in Nectar. Keeping that. Milk Makeup in Flare. Keeping this. I love this very much. I actually wish they had bigger sizes of it because I love it so much. Um, okay. Makeup Forever. This one's kind of hard because you can't buy it like this anymore. And even though I don't like super crazy highlights this one has like a pink sheen to it which I do like so I don't know that that might be a maybe um birds bees in some kind of pink 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 shy pink that can go Lancome in a plum this is really old. That can go. Lorac highlighter in Starlight. That can go. Essence Pure Nude. Uh, it's it fits the bill of like the kind of highlighter that I do go for. However, um, I'll reach for the Hourglass one over reaching for this one. So this one can go. Uh, Too Faced, Little Mini in Love Hangover. I always liked this shade, but I'm ready for it to go. Um, here are some that were sent to me. Uh, Star Surfer from Kaleidos. Let's see. Um, that can... Shoot. I don't know. That can go. Kaleidos in Ray Rider. That one can stay. Um, Kaleidos in Skywalker. Uh, I'm going to say this can stay. I'm going to use this on my eyes for sure. Yeah. That's going to be like an eye shade. I don't know if you can even see stuff. But there we go. Um, Kaleidos in Comet Catcher. It's pink, but it's pretty dull, so that one can go. Kaleidos in Solar Sailor. It's like gold, very pretty, but I don't need it. It can go. I have a lot of gold eyeshadows. Uh, Kaleidos in Laser Glazer. I might want to keep this just because of the name. I really like that name, if I can open it. Yeah, I do like that one. Okay. Um, okay. Hourglass. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I'm going to keep that. Uh, Physician's Formula Butter Blush. This does not show up on me. It's in the shade Plum Rose. And it's like putting nothing on my skin. So it can go. A little Becca Mini in Capri Coast. I would have thought that I would have liked this, but... It's very patchy on me, so it can go. Um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep. This one is actually too dark for me, so this one can go. Um, Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the shade Vintage Rouge. I think I actually do really like this one. Yeah, I do. It's like a peachy pink. So, I'm going to keep this one. Um, butter bronzer in the shade light bronzer. This one was actually too light for me. That's why I used the heck out of it. Because I, I think that's two uses. I used it twice. And that's how much I used it. Because it doesn't show up on me. Uh, so, that one can go. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in Peachy Love. I, they're pretty colors, but I never use it, so it can go. Um, and Essence Satin Touch Blush. It does not take up a lot of room. I love that. And I actually really like the shade. Right there. Right there. So, I'm going to keep that.
All right, and there you have it. I'm going to put together all of the ones that I'm getting rid of in this box so you can see. And I dropped some, there's some casualties. So, hopefully that wasn't too long and drawn out. It was 15 minute video, not too bad. A lot better than my hour long video yesterday. Was that yesterday? Yesterday or day before. Um, so, oh, what did I drop? What did I drop? Ah, bronzer, okay. All right, so this is the box of everything that is going. Oh, I should have counted. Shit, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let me start over. Okay. <laughs> please don't give me a thumbs down, please. I'm a new YouTuber, please, no thumbs downs. Not yet, I'm not ready for that. Just give me thumbs ups and lots of comments and lots of likes and lots of love because I need the help. Help me out, because I'm new. I will learn my ways and get better at this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Getting rid of 30. Not too bad. Okay, and how many am I keeping? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay, I got rid of more than half. That's pretty good, wouldn't you say? More than half of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So I would say that is a success. All right, with that, I am going to end this video. And, uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Wow, more than half. That's pretty good. I did pr that's, that's my first declutter. Well, I mean, actually, it's not. But it's my first declutter on camera. So, um, yeah. So, I think I did pretty good. All right, guys. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, have a great night or day or weekend or whenever you're watching this. Just have a great time. Please give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and please subscribe. Those are all very, very, very important to me as I'm starting this YouTube journey and it would mean the world to me. Thank you.